Hey, so I'm going to try something a little new from now on. In case y'all haven't noticed, we don't upload every single match that was streamed on Twitch. We just upload the more notable matches. To try to make up for it, starting this season, I'm going to begin doing a quick recap of every match that happened between the last YouTube upload to the present one. That should help keep everyone on the loop as to how every player is doing, who to watch out for, etc. So let's begin. Luckily this time around, we only had one match that isn't going to make it to the channel. Dylan vs Somalian for a Group A matchup. With a very early top out in game 1 and an early transition top out in game 2, Somalian was looking to bring things back in game 3, already having a max up by level 26. However, a hang with the squirt to the left and a miss drop cost him the top out, giving Dylan the opportunity to barely seal the sweep with the last Tetris into kill screen. Dylan will end the set with 7 points, while Somalian stays with his 5 points from beating Hydrant Dude earlier this season. And that's it! So hope you guys enjoy this next matchup. What? All right, Alex is hovering three. Yeah, that's just Alex T stuff. Don't worry about it, Olive Lucas. So, three, two, one, Tetris. See, that's that's what that's what gamers do, Stanislaw. Alex got new PB. Tetris, Alex, T. No, same 1.5 as a week ago. But also, yes, he got a 1.5 a week ago. Depending on how up-to-date that is. Or depending on how up-to-date you are with the uh, Tetris world. Alex T, two Tetrises. Dylan, none. I know, right? Not even 2 million. Dylan's board, pretty shit. And not got a Tetris yet. We're gonna want Dylan to not top out here, just for, I think, uh, his mental health. But Alex T is intimidating. Not just because of his skill. Alex T is shredded. He got another 1.5 today, did he? I haven't seen that, but good to know. I'm gonna quickly check to see that. Alex T. Oh, that's probably Transition Trainer, Spider Waffle. He did uh, Transition Trainer games starting at 1.2 earlier. Alex T at uh, 168,000. Nasty Spire formed there, but should be able to manage it. Especially with taps like that. Very tasty. I just don't get how you fucking vibrate your hand that fast, man. It's like, surely your bones just shatter at that speed. I don't get it. Alex T223. Dylan has survived his predicament. Uh, not got great pace out of it, but hey, still only two touches behind. Uh, well, three in terms of pace, maybe, but it's only a couple touches behind Alex T. Yeah, Dan's also an anomaly though because he's somehow a child and also 22. So. Yeah. Or just Asian. Either genetic beast or normal Asian. Unsure. <laughs> Alex high up, but for Alex that's actually a perfectly safe board with no predicaments at all. So let's see. Yep, no, casual 20 hertz. So Alex surviving. Like Alex do. Yeah, there's a fair few of us. Twitch account 54894. Up to 323 for Alex, 304 for Dylan, and with that Tetris, simul Tetris, more or less, uh, 
Both players are gonna increase their score by a Tetris. Wow. So Alex T still with the one Tetris lead. 346 to Dylan. Now 351, but Alex T behind in lines. Is Alex T GMO free? We have to screen that Capri Sun. It's a good question. Stanislaw saying, I may only tap at 10 hertz, but I do have a mortgage. Suck that, children. Stanislaw requesting that children do something that is illegal. Uh, so, be aware of that. Uh, I wonder if DNA can predict how fast you could hyper-tap. Possibly. Alex T, now the one behind in score, but uh, Dylan having to take a burn to get the board clean, and Alex, with a couple touches, will take the score lead once again. That's true. So there, you're requesting that children suck your mortgage, whatever that means. I'm not gonna question what that means, Stanislaw, but it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound as bad as the alternative, but... <laughs> I don't know what it means. <laughs> Alex T, one Tetris to go before transition. There it is. Goes up to 5.59. Even a game with like rough pace at some point for Alex. Still almost 600k transition. Dylan's board, not good here. Ooh, but those burns are nice. And the bar comes just in time or things can get too dicey for Dylan. So, Ooh. Alex, center well, but Alex is basically the master of center wells at this point. Dirty touches are just kind of what he does. And yep, there you go. And he's probably just going to build on top of that. Yep. Who cares about where the bottom of your board is when you can just put pieces 12 high left? We'll opt to burn it down a bit here, though. And there we go. Got a center well going for Alex. 677. Dylan, 610. It's a few lines behind, so... Only behind in pace by about two Tetrises. Which, uh... Sounds almost manageable. XT maintaining the center well with as few burns as is feasibly possible. Uh, ah yes, someone checking the standings in chat. Along with the standings, you can type exclamation mark match arena to give children money. Uh, and exclamation mark discord to join the discord where you can uh, play matches against players that are worse than these other players that you're watching today. Or, if you are on par with these players, you can also play matches against these players, probably. Tetris for Dylan, up to 796, and another one, 828. Alex T, 951 though, in level 26. So, kill screen coming up soon. Which means for Alex, another 100,000 points. And for Dylan, uh, probably not another 100,000 points. Um, and Dylan, behind by 100k right now, got some trouble ahead uh, in that aspect. Actually, setting up the center well right before kill screen. Not getting the bar. There it is at last, though. So, B 30 something into kill screen. Dylan has got the max out, has got a Tetris, has one burn available, but can't tap 20 hertz, so it does have 
issues uh, here. And yes, cannot get the bar over six high right. Top side at A72. Alex T just flexing on everyone by being Alex T. Will he hit the three high left? Ooh, no, he won't hit the five high left, but we'll still get a B52 because that's what Alex does. I just don't know how you beat Alex unless you're rolling. I really don't. <laughs> 102 Z pieces. Nice. You've got readies. Three, two, one. Tetris. What is the Maturino prize pool at currently? Five hundred thirty-three. There you go. So the winner will get a fraction of that five hundred thirty-three, uh, supposedly. And then the people who don't win, but come fourth through second, will also get some of that money, supposedly. Dylan at 97,000. Alexi at 116,000. I say supposedly because everyone knows that Kingsman is actually embezzling all of the money. Uh... Disclaimer, that isn't true. For legal reasons, Kingsman isn't embezzling all of the Maturino money. Or at least that's what the lawyers tell me. Dylan at 150k, Alex at 167. Just normal level 18 going on. Alex's level 18 is like... I mean, he just does the right things most of the time, so it's kind of uh, hard to even comment on it. It's just like, yep, nothing to comment on there, other than, oh, casual 20 hertz tap to uh, put a piece all the way left. That's just what he do. Ooh, actually, interesting thing here, building up upon that hole. Dylan also plays perfectly fine, perfectly clean most of the time. Is Man, Div 118, it's just like, it's satisfying, but there's nothing to talk about most of the time. Just scores. Dylan in the lead by one Tetris at the same line count. 287 to Alex T's 266. I should, I just haven't done that because I'm incredibly lazy. It's a good thing that I'm not a CTM uh, super streamer yet, because, man, I would forget to, like, promote literally any of the stuff there as well. I just, like, not even remember to put the slides of promotional material up. Dylan at 380k, Alex T with a bits at 357. Very nice, one bit, I think. Certainly one Dan's game. Dylan maintaining the one Tetris lead. Uh, as I say that, Alex T takes the lead by a single. So, there you go. Simul Tetris. 448 for Dylan. 425 for Alex T. But another long bar comes. 448 for him. Alright. 
Dylan at 473 at 100 lines. Alex T at 495 at 105 lines. So fairly neck and neck pace. Kingsman, for uh, for posterity, are you embezzling all of the money out of the match arena? Wow, Stanislaw, that is a very convincing 500 Dan's game bit. Dylan, uh, bad board right before transition. Alex's isn't great either, but those pieces sort of fix it up nicely. I cannot confirm nor deny the claim. Okay. For legal reasons, I will say he isn't, as that way I will not be violently murdered by the Kingsman Mafia. Five fifty nine transition for Dylan, six something for Alex. He transitioned a little while ago. <laughs> He's just into level twenty as I say that. Dylan, I uh, can't get the tap to the right. Tops out at five sixty two. So Alex will take the game. How do you think I paid for Tubi's lunch? True, it is in New York. Very expensive. It's not ready yet. Now is three, two, one. Tetris. Oh my god. Epic Alex T face reveal, but not quite because, you know, played in the CTWC and the such. And had face revealed before that as well. But we'll call it a face reveal so we can clickbait it on YouTube. Now we just need to see if Peak actually watches any of the things he uploads. Could say something like that's against YouTube's terms of service in the VOD, so he has to watch it to actually... <laughs> that's a strategy to fuck with Peak. It's not a good strategy. Like, there's nothing I get out of it, but I do possibly get the YouTube ban, which is funny. <laughs> Bandy, you can donate to, de to destroy your competition. <laughs> to get me to say things against YouTube's terms of service. <laughs> Nah, there's nothing against YouTube's terms of service that isn't also against Twitch's terms of service, I'm pretty sure. Twitch is very, very careful about these things. Exactly, Vandy. Reduce the stock prices. Alex's board is bad, but Alex's taps are good, and Alex's stacks are good. And subsequently, Alex, 149 to Dylan's, 188. So about a half, now well, one, Tetris lead for Dylan. Play copyrighted music. That'll only get me fucked up realistically on Twitch, because YouTube won't, like, take, won't actually take you down realistically. Uh, if it's just in the background, usually. It depends how copyrighted it is. If it's, like, A-list, like, Justin Bieber, you'll get fucked. But if it's, like anything below top 10 on the charts, they probably don't actually care that much. But that's what gets people. Popular music in the background of things. So I guess I could play that, but I don't want to listen to that. That's the problem. Where Switch will actually just mute the VOD and then people have to watch it anyway to commentate over it, which would be funny, actually. He's already done that with me because I played copyrighted music once. Anyway. Both players past 60 lines. Alex T at 310. Dylan at 5... 560? 556. Not 556. 256. I read those numbers backwards. Yeah. You know, I've always thought that, Vandy. But just... Like, you can watch things on Amazon Prime. 
and not get copyrighted, but you just can't play things on Amazon Music. Just mute the vid on Twitch. I could just take off my headphones, I suppose. Yeah, I mean... I could just play copyrighted music to fuck with Peak. I'm not going to. Because Peak hasn't annoyed me. And even if he had, I'm not generally a very vengeful person. Probably. I say to make people not realise that I actually have secretly been siphoning all of the fuel out of Peak's car for months. Dylan at... Uh, 359 alex t 425 so alex with a two to three tetris lead uh oh dylan's board eh. should be able to sort it out with a couple nice pieces you live for vengeance thank you aki that is true does muji own this channel i think he does yeah but peak owns the youtube i'm pretty sure hello dan v weller Hashtag respect 15. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I haven't got a clue either, NGU Frost, but... Dylan at 4.34, Alex T at 4.97. Hello, other people in chat, such as Tourist and Richard Wolf. Ooh, 18 starts. I know. We should ban all starts above level 9, because everyone knows that it's cheating to start above level 9. You have to hack. Uh, Dylan's board, not... Like, it's working itself out, but it's slow. And Alex's scoring is fast. Or probably about average speed. But he's good at it, so let's go. Transition up soon. Two touches available for Alex. None for Dylan. He has transitioned. 471. Div 1 should move to 19 starts at this point. Kappa. Yes, exactly. Kappa. 19 starts are just really boring. To play. They're probably slightly more interesting to watch, but yeah, I don't know. 19 start. Yeah, 19 starts, line cap at 100 lines. That's my <laughs> new idea. Alex T, 694, now it's 719, in level 20. Dylan, in level 21, not even at 600k yet. So a pace lead of around 200,000 points for Alex T. Um, and this presents the issue of playing against Alex T and not being a roller. You just get fucked. <laughs> Put eight players on screen and GD will do it. There you go. Yeah, Dylan, that ain't working out for you, my friend. Dylan tops out at 618. And that means Alex T will take it in a sweep. So Dylan, out of this day, goes, gains a uh, net zero and loses a net zero amount of points. So, woo. Yeah, I mean, it, it really does just feel like impossible to beat Alex. Uh, well, he did do that. 